Hey guys, I'm Lou and in today's video I'm going to be doing a discussion video. This discussion video is going to be about fan translated books. This video has been inspired by the fact that recently I've been reading a lot of fan translated books. This is because they haven't been officially translated into English and that gave me the idea to do this video. I want to get your opinion on this. Are you guys against fan translated editions because it takes attention away from the original author and places it onto the translator? Are you in support of fan translated books or do you just not care? <laughs> and whether or not you guys would read fan translated books? Because I feel like in booktube people tend to read like official books that have been published or fan fiction but there really is like no in between. I haven't really seen people read fan translated books so this might be a good place to start the conversation. I do have my notes here so if you do see me looking down it's because of that. I'm trying to sensibly structure my thoughts but at the same time I feel like that might fail because I want to talk about a lot of different aspects of translation and fan translations so yeah. So the first topic I want to talk about is language and translation. A lot of books get translated into English because of how dominant it is across the world. It is probably one of the closest things to a universal language. So when books become translated into English it has a chance to read a wider range of audiences. But what does it mean for books that aren't translated? Are these books not popular enough to warrant the cost of being officially translated? Is it the fact that publishers believe that there is no consumer base? I would answer to this not always. A case study of this would be Sotus by Bittersweet and Two Moons by Chiffon Kick. They're both Thai novels. They have both been adapted into Thai dramas and they have both been really successful internationally but they haven't been officially translated into English. On Wattpad alone both of these English translations has had thousands of views. Now of course views don't equate to reads, yet I would say that those books would be insanely popular just because of that. If a book sold 80,000 plus copies, is that not a hit? With these case studies I would say that perhaps the subject matter has something to do with the books not being translated. Both books focus on a male-male romance and perhaps because of this there is an obstacle to overcome into publishing it officially into English. But then I thought about this a bit longer and I was like, I don't know that many Thai books that are officially translated into English. This makes me think that perhaps it's got something to do with Western perceptions and due to the colonization of the English language, there is a sense of superiority and like inferiority with literature. The idea that perhaps literature from a developing culture is not as great as literature from a developed one. The idea that the literature can't be as good so why bother translating it in the first place? Now I'm not saying that this is the case but it does make me question a few things and hopefully it makes you guys question a few things as well. Now I'm not saying that this is related solely to Thai culture and Thai literature or anything like that. There are some books that I have read that have been translated from Chinese to English that haven't had official translations. But then with those Chinese books, I have noticed that those books have been officially translated into other East and Southeast Asian languages, but nothing West. That gives me the idea that perhaps translators in China or Asia don't believe that these stories will sell well in the West because it is an Asian story. This leads me to the thought of is there a way to encourage official books being translated into English? I don't really have an idea as to how to do this. Well, there's got to be a way to encourage official English translations because I really want English editions of so many books. I also want to talk about the problems of relying on fan translated books. You do have the question of sustainability. You're solely relying on like one person or two people translating an entire book. There's literally hundreds of books behind me and they range from 200 to like 500 pages long. To translate that into another language put so much pressure on the translator, especially if you use a medium like Wattpad when people are urgently waiting for the next chapter to be published. It solely relies on that one person's passion for the book, for people to read it, and 
whilst I think that's really admirable, I'm also like worried about official translators as well. <laughs> but then without those fans, there would be no way for me to read some of my favourite books that I have read this year. And I do really thank them for that, because there's no way I'd be able to read them otherwise without becoming fluent in like five different languages in a short space of time. I do want to bring up the question of how reliable is it to depend on a fan translation. When you read a book it's completely subjective to your point of view. When you translate a book that is also the same case. Unless you're working with the author or the publisher to get the correct message across, that message might get misinterpreted along the way. It's also dependent on the fan's fluency in both languages. For example, really beautiful descriptive scenery might be cut out of a fan translation because they're not affluent enough in language. This is one of the reasons why I would find it difficult to review a fan translated book because when you review a book normally you're just reviewing the author's work. When you review a fan translated book that's where you have possible mixed signals between a translator and the author. So this video really was a discussion video, me posing some questions, some scenarios and you guys thinking about it. I really hope that some of you guys will discuss this with me in the comment section down below. I hope to do more of these in the future and I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. Do like and subscribe if you want to see more of me and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!